Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Krishna. So I just installed a new SSD drive to my laptop a few days ago and I already moved my Windows and all the software and data to the new SSD drive. Everything works fine, no problem at all until yesterday when I tried to open up my Capture My Express and this error message pops up. This license key has been disabled. Then I tried to find the solution on the internet about how to fix it and I saw some of you posted the same problem in the Capture One community. So if you're having the same problem and still cannot fix it, don't worry about it because today I'm going to show you how to fix this license key has been disabled. So. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this license key has been disabled issue happens because of there are two possibilities. The first one is which is you can read on the Capture One frequently asked questions. So you are using the license key from the previous version to activate a newer version of Capture One. Okay, so the solution of this is to either upgrade your license key to the newest version or just use the previous version of Capture One. And the second possibility is which is happens in my case because I installed a new SSD drive so the hardware ID of my computer changed as well but the system still reads the hardware ID of my old hard drive even though I have formatted it. Okay so in order to be able to use my license key again I need to deactivate it first. Okay. Usually you can deactivate your license key in the software but we cannot use the software for now so go to the Capture One website and click on this icon to log in. After that go to manage licenses. Okay so this is the license key of my Capture One Express for Nikon. For Capture One Express, you can only use it for one user or one computer. Okay, the license key is still active in my old hard drive. So as you can see, the activations remaining is zero. Okay, so go to activation history and scroll down. Let me explain this first. Okay, so this is the ID of my old hard drive and this is the ID of my new SSD drive. And then this is the ID of the other computer that I'm using for this tutorial. Okay, so let's say that this is the ID of my old hard drive. Okay, to deactivate it, you can either click reset all activations or click deactive. Okay, so just click this deactive button. And when you refresh the website, Okay, now the activations remaining becomes one. And then open up the software. And as you can see, this error message still pops up even though you click retry. It will pop up again because you need to deactivate the license first. So click on this button. And click yes then open up the software again and you just need to re-enter the license code and I'm sure this will fix the problem you're having and after that click activate Okay, and now you can use the software again. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you can fix the problem you're having. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.